Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. This is Leslie with Black Dog Vintage. And uh, I have a huge haul that I'm bringing you today, but I have to tell you what happened today to uh, this little girl that's uh, sleeping oh so soundly. Um, so today I went to go pick up some jewelry from somebody I bought um, from on Facebook Marketplace and it was just a porch pickup. Uh, she was going to be in the car with me for all of uh, two, or alone in the car for all of two minutes. Um, I left her in the car. I did turn it off. Uh, I had the air going at full blast for um, the entire drive, which was like 25 minutes. And uh, the gentleman was on the porch with the jewelry and turned it off, left, grabbed my money, left my bag, my keys and my phone in the car, but the car was unlocked and ran up, grabbed the jewelry. Uh, she barked like crazy because, you know, I left the car and there was somebody, God forbid, that might have attacked me right on the porch. And uh, she hit the lock button and uh, never thought about it. I never even thought about the fact that she could lock herself in the car um, and so we had to call the police who then had to try to Jimmy the door open and she was panicking and of course the police were worried that she would bite them and her being a pit bull uh, I was a little worried but thankfully the police officer that showed up assured me that he was good with dogs knew that she was scared and that she was going to be okay and just had me in place so the door wouldn't open all the way and I could be there to grab her just in case she tried to launch out, which I knew she was going to be scared, so I didn't think she was going to do that. But uh, she was in there by herself in the car for all of maybe 25 minutes and in 75 degree, I didn't get too, too warm. I think it was 75, 78 degree heat uh, with no air. And I was terrified and I was crying and it was awful. So um, yeah, that was awful. So I just had to share it with you. Uh, that was our um, excursion when we went and picked up jewelry today. Um, but I did pick up a lot and here's the haul. Uh, but yes, Angel, this poor little girl, <laughs> she, where is she? She paid the price and she's now resting. Uh, she's resting very comfortably and, uh, now I'm gonna have to leave her so we can do the haul. But yes, she's, she's, uh, she's now cool and air conditioning and she had lots of water and she had snacks and I think she'll sleep now. <laughs> she's got the little, she's got the little kickies. So, but yes, that's what happened if you can believe it. So, uh, yep. So we're going to do the haul now. All right. See you on the other side. Okay. Welcome back. Um, to, this is the flip side. This is where I'm going to show all the jewelry. Um, I'm going to start off with some sterling silver that I got the other day. Um, these are all pieces that I have already uh, tested, and uh, these are all some vintage silver. This one's really, really pretty. Now, I do believe the opal in here is man-made. I am not a great judge of that, but to me, this looks a little bit too holographic, almost too perfect. Um, I wish I knew. This is very clear going through on this. Um, so if anybody knows for sure on how to judge that, I would love to know. Um, but I am guessing this is man-made opal. Um, but you know, hey, let me know if you know for sure. Um, but this is sterling silver. This is a toggle bracelet. Um, this has been tested. I did test these because um, I got them yesterday, I think. Um, but this is beautiful. This bracelet here is, uh, it can go anywhere between seven and almost eight inches. Um, but this is gorgeous. Isn't that just a beautiful bracelet? I love that one. So that is a gorgeous sterling bracelet. 
Um, then I had a couple other really pretty cool sterling pieces. Uh, this one here, look at this ring. It's articulated. Uh, don't mind, I do have no manicure today. Uh, this ring here though is articulated. It is so pretty. Um, see if I can get a little bit better light on here. Um, so pretty. And this one is also sterling uh, tested. It is just marked 925 in there. Um, the size on this ring is, grab my ring mandrel here. Okay, so the size on this is um, about, well, about an eight and a half. Um, but just, it's so cool how those wings just are articulated like they are. They move, they look really cute on. It looks really cute on. Um, cute little sterling silver, palm tree brooch. This is Mark Sterling tested. It is sterling. Very fun little piece. No other marks on it. Um, this is a really interesting brooch. Uh, it has the feathers. I think it goes this way. Feathers. Um, and then almost looks like holly leaves. Um, this is marked. Um, what does it say? WB Sterling Silver. There's like some other scratches and stuff on there. Um, there is a stone that tests as just glass on there. Just want to double check, make sure I wasn't um, wrong in that when I was testing things yesterday. But yeah, that's it's a cool piece. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting little brooch. The pin goes very far past it. Um, but I don't know anything about this particular one. It's very interesting, very unique. Um, this is a Vermeil earring. So Vermeil over sterling silver with, I want to say maybe that's, I don't know. I don't think that's Moonstone. Might just be like a moon glow glass. And then we've got some Baroque pearls. Very pretty, um, very pretty earrings. Um, it is marked IS925 or maybe it's SI925. Um, still haven't done much research on any of these, but that's a really pretty earring. Um, next pair of earrings is this is a really pretty moonstone and nice flash on these moonstone and sterling and those are just dangle earrings very nicely done um this is a really cool ring just like a braided silver and this is a lar nice large size too if i remember right yeah that's a size 10 Beautiful, big braided silver ring. Looks really cool on. Very cool on. And then, this one I thought was super cute. This is sterling silver and it's just a little cuff ring and it just says, don't make me release the flying monkeys. I can relate to that. I think it's really pretty. It's just a simple bracelet. Mark 925 on the inside. Um, no other markings, so 925 there, no other markings, so I'm not really sure who might have made it, but it's fun. And then, um, this is a really pretty, uh, marcasite, sterling and marcasite earring, dangle earring. So that was all one silver lot I got from somebody, and, uh, very nice person I like dealing with, um, I did get, oh, I got this ring from her too. This is marked 925, uh, made in Italy. This has all been tested as well. And it's also marked PV, and that stands for Paolo um, Valentini. And Paolo Valentini, or Paola, Paola, P-A, 
O-L-A, Valentini. And she uh, is a jewelry artist, works mo mostly in sterling. Uh, she sold jewelry on QVC for a while. And her um, she's very modernist designs, very cool designs. And uh, yeah, her pieces can be quite valuable, but this was a really pretty ring. Angel's feeling better. She's got her squeaky toy out. Uh, just got this one in today. This is Sterling and Larimar. Beautiful, huge ring. Um, this I did not test yet. It is marked 925 Thailand on the inside. We'll test it real quick. Hopefully it won't disappoint us. Size 8. Um, let's see. I'd be very upset. Paid a lot for this. I really kind of wanted it for me, but of course I'll sell it, you know, because that's just how it rolls. Um, and it is turning blue. So we got blue. Yay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I would have been very upset had not that not turned blue. All right. So... All right, so next, um, this was a, a mix of a jewelry lot that I got online plus um, some pieces that I picked up locally. Uh, here's some Bakelite, beautiful Bakelite, butterscotch Bakelite here. Um, beautiful piece, uh, beautiful bangle. This one here is, I believe, a little bit smaller. Yeah, this one's at about seven and a half. Uh, seven and a half on that one. This one here is bigger. This one sits at about almost eight inches, seven three quarter, eight inches. This is a carved Bakelite bangle. Really, really nice. Um, and then I got some Bakelite earrings. Both of these are um, clips, but beautiful Bakelite hoops. Um, I have never had Bakelite hoops before, but these are nice Bakelite hoop earrings. And then I did get um, some Bakelite carved, uh, these are great, Bakelite carved um, uh, uh, twist back or, you know, earrings. And these are really, really nicely done. Oops, this one has an angel hair stuck to the back. Um, I was testing them. This one's really nicely done too. I really like those little screw back earrings. Um, some other uh, silver that I had gotten. These are great little hoops. These are awesome. Um, little puffy hoops. These are marked right there. 925. These are nice little puffy hoops. Um, some other silver that I got. These are really cool. Check out those. Those are really nice. These are screw backs. And uh, what does this say? Silver Mexico. Did not test these, nor did I test the stone on these. Stone is glass. And let's see. Hopefully. Is we'll test. Okay. And let's see. Just wait on that for a second. I do like the purple cabochon in there. It's kind of cool. All right. There we go. And we've got blue. There we go. Got the blue showing up. There we go. Perfect. We've got sterling. Sometimes I find that if uh, you gotta really make sure that the whoops that your sterling is clean, especially when you're <laughs> this is getting old. So when you've got older solution, if your sterling's not clean, you're gonna have to wait a minute before it will. Uh, before it'll turn blue. Um, these are super cool. So this is a Sterling Vermeil. Um, 
and rhodium verme, like a black rhodium verme with uh, amethyst. Now this I got from somebody else and oh my gosh, this is, these are to die for. These are very, very fashionable. Um, marked in the back. These are absolutely amazing. Let me test the stones. Supposed to be amethyst. We're not testing as amethyst. That's a little scary. It's supposed to be amethyst. I might have to set these aside and get past the. I'll test it on the on the um, on the earring post. Get past that verme. All right. Let's see. Does it test to be silver? Yeah. Okay, so it's sterling. That's good. But it is not testing to be amethyst like they like the woman that I bought them from said they were. So that's kind of a bummer. I am going to have to say something on that one. So that's really too bad. They are super cool earrings. Super cool, um, but they do not test to be amethyst uh, at all. I might recalibrate, of course, make sure that this is uh, that this is you know testing correctly. But at least they are sterling, so that'll be a positive. Um, let's see, what other silver do I have? These are tested. These are cool um, little clips. Those are nice little clips that I got. So those are nice. Um, any other sterling? Oh, these. These sterling, those are kind of fun little ruffle style earrings. And uh, then I got these. These little puffy ones, those are kind of cute. Those are sterling, tested. And well, these are fun. Um, these are little inlay sterling earrings. And that's the back marked. Those are very pretty. And um, this one here is um, it is sterling and I, well, let's test it. Let's make sure this one's sterling. I just want to make sure this has one of these glass cabochons that are carved from behind. It is a, um, it's an adjustable ring. Um, and it's an adjustable ring and it is vintage and yes, this is sterling. There we go. Got the blue coming up. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. There's the blue, but what I'm not so sure, I don't know what that kind of glass, carved glass is called. I don't know. If anybody knows what that kind of carved glass is called, let me know. Um, Cause I am, I can't remember. And uh, yeah, I can't remember what that kind of carved glass is called, but it's kind of a cool ring. Um, and it is adjustable. So, yeah, I do, I do like it. Um, but it's too small for me, but it is a cool ring. Um, okay. So next we move into some really 
unique pieces. Um, so I think you'll like it. So that's, you know, it's a decent lot of sterling that I got. Um, and I really, really do like the earrings um, that I got. I really do like the earrings and I really like that opal bracelet, but the earrings are fun. Um, okay, so uh, these brooches and a couple of these necklaces and stuff, I'm oh, in the earrings. Oh my gosh. So let's do some of these necklaces first. Now this first one um, is newer. I feel like this is super unique and there's no maker or anything on it that I can find. It's got this kind of shepherd's hook clasp. I'm pretty sure it's newer. Um, 16, 15 and a half inches. Um, but check this out when it's on. This is super pretty. Um, it's just so different. Now I've got some really cool antique pieces. So, you know, bear with me, but I just want to show off some of these pieces that are, I feel are just really, really cool. Look at that. Look at that. That is just, oh, amazing. I just think that's a cool piece. Look at that. Just really unique, really different. Um, just had to show that one off. And then this black and white, um, it's a black and white with AB coating on the white. The details on this one are really cool. 15 and a half inches. Um, look at the detail. You've got this almost like flower detail with the white and the black. It's on either side. Um, but yeah, 15 and a half inches. Um, the black, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. Let's see, put this through. Oops, come on. Come on, Leslie, you can do this. It's not that hard to do one of these little shepherd's hooks, but for some reason, I struggle with it sometimes. Not really sure why. There we go. All right. So, yeah. Look at this. Just, oh, look at how that AB just catches the light. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is just a stunning, stunning necklace. 15 and a half inches. It's amazing. It really is. It's truly amazing. That is a gorgeous piece. And I just love the flowers on that. And it's not marked at all. So like not on the cook or anything. It's not marked. It's just a cool, cool piece. Um, and then here's another one. This is a J. Crew. Now these J. Crew Rivoli pieces have really, really increased in value over the last few years. Um, this is J. Crew. You can see the um, J. Crew. Come on, the J. Crew um, little hang tag there. Um, but this one is gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is all Rivoli um, rhinestones, and this can go all the way up to 19 inches. And um, I'm a big, you know, person for this particular style. A little bit shorter is better. I think it sets it off a little bit more. But, oh, check that out. Look at how beautiful that looks with all those Rivoli stones. It's stunning. It is simply stunning. Oh, look at that. You can just see the depth in those stones. It's truly a stunning piece. Truly a stunning piece. So that is a gorgeous J. Crew. Um, and then this is a really cool modernist necklace. Again, no marks on this, but you know, a lot of times I pick stuff up because <coughs> I like the style of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I really like the style. And this is no exception. The style of this necklace is really, really cool. It's 16 inches um, at its longest. And I can get this to hook. This is what it's going to look like on. Um, 
check that out. That is just a stunning, stunning necklace on. It's got these really cool stations. The three stations in the front have this green stone. I don't believe, I think it's just glass, um, but we'll check. Um, it's actually, it's actually a quartz. Um, these are actually quartz. So absolutely gorgeous. Love this, love this necklace. Great artistic value. Um, just, it's amazing. It's just a cool, cool necklace. So I was super impressed with that one. So I had to grab it, of course. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, here's a bracelet. I, I had one of these, okay, when I was younger. My mom actually had it, and then I used to wear it all the time. It's from the 60s. I'm pretty sure it's the 60s. No marks on this one. I'm not sure if like Monet or Napier ever had one. This one isn't marked that I could find. Um, and I don't know whether the one I ever had when I was younger ever was marked, but this gold mesh bracelet is literally, it's so stylish. It looks so cool on. Um, to be honest, you know, I wore it most of the day and it looked really great. Highly recommend. It's a great piece. Just a great piece. Um, the one uh, stop where I actually like locked, well, I didn't lock her in the car, but she locked herself in the car. Um, I picked up some brooches. A uh, few, a couple of them were newer. So the newer ones, it were, it was these two. This one's very new, but it's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, but there's the back. It's got the pendant uh, back to it. And you can tell by the the way that this is constructed and like that really textured, almost like blobbed together soldering on this back. It's new, but the front, it's super pretty. It's really very, very pretty, but it's just, um, it's not put together with that same construction that you would expect from one of the better pieces, but it's really a pretty piece. Um, this one here, newer, it is uh, Liz Claiborne. And this is actually a really nice piece. It's beautiful colors. Um, it's just, and it's done well. It really is. I mean, it's all, they're all glued in, but it's still a really pretty brooch. Um, this here, this is a Sarah Coventry. And look at those stones. I wonder if these glow at all. Oh yeah, look at that. They glow. Ooh. But yeah, these all glow. So the orange... The yellow, the green, the blue doesn't so much, but the orange, yellow, and green all glow. So how fun is that? So that's a fun brooch. Um, so those, those, and then, oh, and this one. So this one's actually a really nice one. All prong set, beautifully done. Um, I might actually spend some time to look this one up. Maybe it's something could definitely be. I've seen pieces like this from different, attributed to different manufacturers. So this one could definitely be something worth looking up. Um, I love this hematite cabochon on here. It's very, very stunning. So definitely one worth looking up. Um, and then also, oh, this the person I bought that stuff from also had this ring. It's a mother's ring. Sarah Coventry mother's ring. It's just, it's just a pretty ring. Um, oops, as I throw it. Um, and this one is a size eight. So just a pretty little mother's ring. Let me see. Okay. So then I went to another sale today and I picked up earrings and some other pieces. Um, and 
here is a really pretty pair of earrings here. And that's a great back. These are not signed. This is really, really pretty. Um, then this is another pair of really nice ones. This is, uh, these I believe are Lisner. Yeah, these are Lisner's. Very beautiful topaz stones on this. Gotta love those. Um, here's some milk glass. Uh, beautiful milk glass earrings. These are not marked either. Um, and they're not marked on the inside either. There's that. And then these here, these are Weiss. Um, I can get this one. Here we go. So these are Weiss earrings. These are really pretty Weiss. I thought these were really great ones, and they're marked Weiss. And uh, I like the stones in this. Um, the color is honestly like that teal blue is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm actually surprised that it's just all one color. Oh, these. Look at these. So these are actually a really interesting pair. These are Kramers. Um, Kramer, right? Yeah, these are Kramers. Look at those. It's like that teal AB. Um, but these are like little sunflowers. But that big, huge stone in the center is super cool. I love this textured gold. Um, there's the back of them. And then they're marked Kramer on the side here. That's just, to me, a very interesting interesting piece to it. Um, and they're very solid. Look at that. So solid. So, but beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love those. Love, love, love those. Um, here is a really cool necklace, too. So, the, here is these long, long links in the brass. Here are those brass rosebuds that I have seen before in some antique necklaces. And then we've got very old Czech glass beads. So I know these are old because these bead holes are clean. These bead holes are clean and they are not usually clean in new beads. Nope, nope, nope. When they are old, they are clean. When they're new, they are not clean. So these are old beads. Um, these are actually a plastic, surprisingly. Uh, these are glass. These are, it's just a beautiful necklace. And it's very, very, very long. And there is a, oh, here it is. So here is the clasp. It is a fold over, but you can tell it's an older fold over type clasp. And this is basically a flapper length necklace. We're looking at a length of 62 inches on this. This is such a nice necklace. I love these long brass links. They're super cool. Super cool brass links. Really pretty necklace. Um, this is another necklace. I do need to like work on the up by the clasp because there's some loose threads there. But um, this is a beautiful. These are all glass beads, very old glass beads and an opaque coral. And uh, this is just so pretty. These bead um, caps are so pretty. These are older, very, um, very check looking. Got some seed bead spacers in there. Just so beautiful. Looks like we're missing some of the spacers or some of the um, bead caps here. And then a very old um, spring ring clasp. This is just such a pretty necklace. This one is about 50, 14 inches. So it's tiny, but I just thought it was gorgeous. Love the colors on that one. Um, that one I found locally. Um, these are a, 14 karat HGE 
um, earring. And oh, they go this way. 14 karat HGE earring. I did not test the stone yet. Um, yeah, and the stone is some kind of tourmaline or citrine maybe. Um, I'm thinking some kind of tourmaline. It's that really pretty like rusty red color. But yeah, gorgeous earrings. But they are marked, um, actually they're marked right under there. Let's see if I can close up on that. But it does say, it does say 14 karat HGE on there. So yeah, it's they're really pretty earrings. Um, another pair of clips. Uh, these here, cool. Oops, what's going on? There we go. Uh, little pair of cool clip earrings. We've got a couple different colors going on in there. Um, not sure if that's just a completely different color stone or not. Came in a little bundle of earrings. Might have to just swap out that stone, clean these up a little bit. Maybe put a totally different color stone in there and we'll play around with those. Might make, somehow make them pretty again. And then these, I love these. These are marked Kramer. Look at those Kramer. Gotta love them. Kramer AB earrings. Small but mighty. Love them, love them, love them. Um, and then, dun, dun, dun. we've got some AB ear climbers going on here. Those are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Not marked. Not marked at all. They have this type of back. So, not sure what they are. I'm not sure if they're unmarked to something or not, but they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Um, oh, I do have another pair of um, sterling earrings. These are really nice. And I tested them last night. These are sterling and moonstone little dangles. So pretty. So, so pretty. I love those. So Sterling and Moonstone Dangles. And then I have a whole bunch of um, absolutely gorgeous. These are all so pretty. Um, these are all antique. So this one here is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It has a gorgeous C-clasp here and this unbelievable amethyst stone that is just look at the setting in there the setting is just stunning absolutely stunning um it's just an amazing piece just an amazing piece yeah love it love it um then i have so many bar pins. <laughs> Let's see. This one here. That's a beautiful bar pin. Um, and C clasp. And then those are all just beautiful crystals. I don't see any marks on there at all, but beautiful. I'll double check all of these. These I just got literally before I in my mail today. That one I think is cool with the enameling and then the stone, that amethyst stone. Oh, this one's marked, what's this say? That says, depose. Nine hundred. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm, maybe we'll test the stone. Looks like we're missing something there. Huh, okay. 
Well, it says the stone. Interesting. I don't think the stone's testing is amethyst, but I might recalibrate and just to be sure. Um, interesting. I wonder what we're missing in that spot right there. If anybody knows, let me know. That is gorgeous. Um, okay, the next one is this one up a little bit. There we go. Is that one. That one's really cool. Doesn't look like there's any marks on this. That one's very cool though. And then, um, look at that one. So I think that would be considered milk glass. Looks like we needed to clean this one a little bit. Um, a little bit of verdigris there. Uh, but I don't see any marks and nothing on the pin. This is, look at that though. Look at those stones. Those are cool. Very cool piece. Um, here's a smaller one. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like it's copper. And then on the back, it says, Hayward, beautiful copper Hayward piece. Um, this one's so pretty too. This one says Czechoslovakia and gorgeous, gorgeous purple stones there. Um, and then I have these celluloid pieces. Um, like, look at that one with the embedded rhinestones. This one is so cool. It's the back, C-class. Look at that. I love that one. Um, and then look at the green with the embedded rhinestones. There's the back. And then, Oh, here's this one. This one was cool too. Um, I wonder if this is sterling. It almost feels like it's sterling. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. That is like, um, that's like some kind of like shell, I think. I don't think it's, I don't know. What do you guys think that is? I don't think it's ivory. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's test it really quick and see. I don't think it's, I don't think it is, um, I don't think it's sterling, but you know, you just, I don't know, you just never know. And so let's, here we go. Let's test this. just to be on the safe side and make sure. It's not marked, but. No, it's not, okay. So, just wanna be sure. All right. Whatever this is, it's cool. Very Art Deco. And then the final one, this is carved. And look at that swan. That is just wow. And carved bone, I think, I hope. Could be celluloid. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
Let's put it out to the expert out here, experts out here on YouTube. I think is absolutely freaking amazing. Look at the detail. Look at the detail on that swan. Holy moly, that's amazing. Um, so all of these beautiful little barkins and stuff, it was a little lot that I got. Oh my gosh. Look at that piece though. That piece is fabulous. It's just absolutely fabulous. This is heavier too. I want to learn more about this one. This one actually looks like it's got some writing on here. Is it? Right there. Looks like I might have to break out my loops and look. Ooh, I don't have my loops. Let's see. No, what do you guys think? It's definitely something written there. Well, I am let me see. Let me see if I can read it. Hold on. Yeah. I can't even read it with my loop. So I'm going to have to work on it and I will let you know if I can figure that out. If anybody else can figure that out, please let me know. I would love to know. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that one. Okay. A couple more pieces and then we're done. Then we're done. Um, oh, we'll do the brooches last. Okay, this one I thought was cool. Um, I am a Gemini, and so this is a Gemini pendant, and this is from Pierre Carden. We're flipping from old, old, old to new, new, new. So this is from Pierre Carden. This is the Gemini pendant. There we go. May 21st to June 20th. I'm right on that cusp. So Pierre Carden Gemini pendant. I thought it was cool. I'll wear it. I thought it was awesome. Um, okay, so I got this brooch. Kind of fabulous. That's the back. It's unsigned, but it's fabulous. Austrian, I'm sure. Just blue AB gorgeousness. And then these two, these last two, I don't even know which one to show you first because they're both pretty amazing, but check this one out. I have never seen, I don't even know if this is going to do it justice. There are these stones in here. It's like a heliotrope type of stone. And I've never really even seen anything quite so phenomenal. This is a smaller brooch. Um, and it says made in Western Germany. That's the little tag on the inside here. Western Germany, I think, or whatever. But, um... Oh my gosh, these are a, like a Givra stone here. These are a like a blue brown heliotrope. Then you've got these like green cabochon navets. There's so much going on in this little piece that I am just, I can't even get over it. It's, this is, this is amazing and I, uh, this is going to go to the right person. This is just, I mean, that's all I can say. This is going to go to the right person. I love this piece so much. And um, yeah, this is special. This is really just, this is just a special piece. And um, 
I hope, you know, uh, on the live or, you know, or I don't know if maybe a channel member is going to end up wanting to pick this up, but somebody's uh, going to end up seeing it and being like, oh my gosh. Um, and then this last one, check this out. So this is a Weiss, okay? So that's Weiss. This is, when I did research on it, um, this came up as uh, a Juliana for Weiss or D&E for Weiss, um, which D&E did uh, produce pieces for Weiss. So I am not surprised um, that this would be a D&E for Weiss because this particular stone was used. It's an, basically one of their Easter egg stones. This was um, used by D&E. Uh, and this is a marked Weiss brooch. So I think that is all correct that this would be a DNA for Weiss because that's a, an Easter egg, basically, stone. So, wow, I can't believe I got this. This is an amazing piece. This is an amazing brooch. And uh, I was super excited to find this one. This is, this is the coup de gras. This is the last piece. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this haul, this is great. Um, this will be available, I, you know, I've got lives on Saturdays at 4 p.m., on Wednesdays at 7 p.m., both the Eastern times. Um, channel members do have the ability to purchase early before the lives. Um, you know, uh, today is June, or I'm sorry, July 19th, 2024. Not all of this will be in my next live, um, so, you know, definitely uh, be patient. This will be rolled out in the next couple lives, but if you are a channel member, feel free to reach out um, and let me know if you're interested in anything. If you are not a channel member, channel members, you can um, you can start in at um, $2.99 a month and then you can purchase anything. All you have to do is just reach out to me and let me know what you're interested in. I'll let you know how much it is and then we can go from there. But. Um, yeah, a lot of this will be available uh, on the next live, which is tomorrow, uh, July 20th. But a lot of it will actually, more of it will probably be available on the live after that, which is uh, coming up on Wednesday next week. So um, I hope to see you at the next couple lives. Um, please let me know what you think of these uh, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Let me know. Um, you know, let me know if <laughs> on the ones that I question, let me know what your thoughts are. So uh, I hope to see you at one of the these next ones. Um, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited to be bringing these to you. This, this I'm pretty happy with this haul. So, all right, we'll see you then. We'll see you later and I love you all. Bye. <laughs>